What do you think about English grammar? Do you think about complicated rules, confusing ideas and difficult concepts? If so, you may be thinking about grammar in the wrong way. And so, your learning is going to be very stressful and ineffective. Actually, grammar can be very fun if you change how you think about it. Here in part 1, we will look at the following noun, adjective, pronoun and verb. And in part 2, we will talk about adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. At first, I'm going to talk about noun. What is noun? A noun is a word used as the name of person, place or thing such as Leon was a king. Here Leon refers to any particular king, but the noun king might be applied to another king as well to Leon. So here we call Leon a proper noun and king a common noun. Oh, did I forget to mention about the kinds of nouns I was talking about? Well, they are proper noun, common noun, singular noun, plural noun, countable noun, uncountable noun, and collect noun. After that, we're going to talk about adjectives. An adjective is a word that tells us more about a noun. It describes or modifies a noun, but adjectives can also modify pronouns. An adjective often comes before a noun such as green, car, or dark sky. Here green and dark, they both are adjectives. Now I'm going to talk about pronoun. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that can replace a noun in a sentence. The noun that is replaced by a pronoun is called an antecedent. For example, in the sentence I love my dog because he is a good boy. The word he is a, a pronoun that replaces the noun dog. The pronoun list looks like this. He, it, you, I, they, we, who, him, them, wherever, anyone, something and nobody. Now I'm going to talk about verbs. Do you know verb came from the Latin verb verbum? A verb is a word that tells or assists something about a person or thing. A verb often consists of more than one word. A verb may tell us such as the boy kicks the football. Here the verb kicks pass over the form of subject. The boy, some of the subject, the football. There is a kick that is called the transitive verb. In another example, the boy laughs loudly. Here the verb laughs stops with the subject boy and does not pass over the object. Therefore, the laugh is called an intransitive verb. Now I'm going to talk about adverb. An adverb is a word that tells us more about a verb. It qualifies and modifies a verb such as the man responded quickly. Here quickly is an adverb. It also modifies subjects, adjectives, adverbs, phrases, even more sentences. An adverb answers questions like when, where, how, how much, how long or how often. Now I'm going to talk about prepositions. Uh, preposition is a word placed before a noun or pronoun to show in what relation the person or the thing is denoted by its stance regarding something else. For example, there is a cow in the field. Here the word cow and in shows the relation between two things cow and field. Now I'm going to talk about conjunction. What is conjunction? A conjunction is a word that merely joins together sentences and sometimes words and often makes them more compact. But conjunctions must be carefully distinguished from relative pronouns, adverbs and prepositions, which are also connecting words. At last comes interjection. Well, an interjection is a word that expresses some sudden feelings such as hip hip hooray, we have won the game. And also like, alas, she is no more. In these two sentences, they both expressed some feelings. So guys, that's it for today. See you in the next class. Be with Haider and be with Bidda